Good morning, myself Deva Jyoti Das from Product Success Team of Service Now. Today we will look into how Asset Refresh helps hardware asset management process. This is just the safe hardware statement. In today's session, we will go through what actually Asset Refresh is, what are its benefits, what is driving it, and we'll see one pre-refresh steps which is our asset refresh validation before an, an asset can be selected for refresh. And then we will dive into the demo. So hardware asset refresh is basically a request flow, which is used to track the aged hardware assets that are nearing its end of life cycle, and then replace them with new hardware assets. In organizations, when an hardware asset gets old, it increases maintenance cost, failure risks, and at the same time, its performance decreases. So that is where the organization or the asset manager specifically may find the need of refreshing or replacing the asset with a new one. How does this process helps an organization? Asset manager or owner will be aware of assets nearing end of its life upfront. In the portal, we can obtain reports as well as there are out of the box indicators, charts, which will let an asset manager or an owner know that which are the group of assets that needs attention. Also, this feature gives a centralized process of managing asset refresh across the organization. And as said before, it with new asset replacing older assets, the maintenance cost, risk of failure of the device will go down. What are the drivers for this process? Well, hardware model table, there is an out of the box field called useful life. Purpose of that field is to house or accommodate the period of months that asset will be useful. Then in the hardware table, there is this scheduled retirement field where one can specify the expected date of retirement for this asset. And then both of this field influences another field in hardware table called eligible for refresh based on which rest of the refresh process gets driven. There is no direct relationship of scheduled retirement with eligible for refresh field. However, some smart scripts can be written to update the eligible for refresh field based on the scheduled retirement window. Before we dive into the refresh process, there is this steps or I should say set of activities that needs to happen before the asset or assets go for refreshment. In this diagram, process diagram, you could see the trigger of this process is to find out all the assets which are either eligible for refresh or are within the accepted retirement window. Then those assets which qualify for refreshment, the asset manager or the owner will determine if that needs to be replaced with available assets from the stockroom or we need to execute a purchase order process which is then has to be approved by the line manager if there is a process in place for approval and which will then drive rest of the request process which we will see in a moment okay now if the approver decides not to proceed with the asset refresh request that is where he can reject the approval which basically should be a trigger to the, the asset owners or managers to re-update the scheduled retired date or any if any other date they are maintaining locally within the asset now let's dive into the demo we are now in the instance and we have a hardware asset workspace open in front of you. First, let's see all the three fields that contributes for asset refresh process. We will go to the model first. 
I have already kept a model selected. So if we open this model, this is where that field is available, useful life. And it is right now set at eight months. That means the asset tag to this model will be operating most efficiently for eight months. And post eight months, the asset manager needs to reevaluate those assets based on the performance, the cost that gets incurred for maintenance, etc. The other fields are in the assets. So let's open one asset and take a look. Here we are into one hardware asset, which is tagged with the same model. And let's see the field pertaining the refresh here it is. So this is a Boolean field. When it is checked on, this record will be considered for refresh. And then there is the other field, which is scheduled retirement, this one. Now, scheduled retirement is open for the team at ground to load. That means it gives the ability to customer to provide their own retirement date. And then based on this date, a report can be extracted and then the asset manager can take a decision on assets which needs refresh. And as said before, you can put some smart scripts which can uh, then determine the value of this field based on whatever criteria you opt here. Maybe say for one month before the retirement, you want to make this asset eligible for refresh. Right now, this asset is already eligible for refresh because there is a job which runs weekly and finds out which are the assets that should be eligible for refresh based on the model data that is useful life of the corresponding model. Let's get into the job and here I have kept it open. Here is the job SAM calculate asset refresh eligibility. This job runs weekly and right now out of the box it is scheduled weekly on Sunday and it then tags those assets for refresh based on their useful life of their corresponding model. Now let's see how a manager will access this asset which are eligible for refresh. So for that he has to click on this overview tab and scroll down here is the widget again this widget is the representation of all the asset whose eligible for refresh is set to true now if we click here we can find the same asset in here okay going back other way, manager can create his own list so that he can keep on track of assets that are nearing its retirement. How does he do that? For that, he has to go to the asset operations, my list, and he can create a new list. Let's create your own list. Let's call it asset nearing retirement. And I'll use the ALM hardware table. That is our asset table. I don't need all this field. And I want all the records where schedule for retirement is not empty. Again, in practical case, the manager can put a condition that he wants to see all the records where the date falls between this to that window. But for the sake of this demo, we will see all the record where schedule retirement is not empty. So just create it. And our asset nearing retirement report is ready. Now, based on this report, the manager can prioritize or plan which asset needs to be refreshed. Now, let's 
look into an asset which should be refreshed and walk through rest of the life cycle so i'm going back here let's use this asset and okay it's already eligible for refresh so say the asset owner or the manager identified this asset for refresh what he will do is he will go to the request form and create the corresponding request now asset refresh request is available under category asset lifecycle here and this is the request he needs to raise however we will rather use the service portal approach here and request something and asset lifecycle hardware asset refresh order there is this four out of the box variables or fields type of refresh single model multi model so you can do a one to one model asset refresh that means one model will be used for the replacement of the asset or you can select the multi model where multiple model can be used for replacement of the asset we are going to see the single model use case today. Let's see if the current asset which we have determined to be this one, if the model of this asset has any substitute already identified or not. There is, I will use this substitute model. And my asset. this one okay so let's submit so now we have the request number and here is the summary page now let's coming back to the workspace you scroll up and this is where your refresh requests are which i just need to refresh this is what is our current request so let's open it and and let's open the request from this RITM. So first we need to see the catalog task and now we will execute the same sourcing process to fulfill this request. Here we have 11 transferable stock. I will use it to fulfill this request. However, we will not cover the fulfillment of this sourcing request in this video. Sourcing as a functionality has been already covered in another video. Request you to refer that video. So I'm just pausing the spin and will come live again post my transfer request is completed. I have completed the transfer order process. Now the transfer order is completed and is in deliver state. Going back to the RITM. We could see after the transfer order process is completed, stage has been set to refresh, which is the same stage we could see in the portal. Now, let's see what are the refresh stage tasks. So, when the stage is set to refresh, here the asset refresh task is generated. The first task is the prepare asset task we are in the prepare asset sub task and here in this form we are trying to tag or select the replacement asset which will replace our original asset for which this request has been raised for and the original asset for which this request was raised for is here p1563 now going back to the task let's select one asset which is in stock and let's use this asset i will also open this asset here so that we can see the impact on this asset 
as we traverse through the life cycle. Now I will close this task. I have to fill our asset. I have to select the asset for which uh, this request has been raised. So this is our original asset. We'll open it as well. Right now the asset is with Garfield and I'm going to replace this asset with this asset and close it now. Going back to this task, the next subtask that got launched is the schedule refresh task. So it's just scheduling the delivery of the new asset and we'll have to add a deployment schedule let's select some random date now it does not mean that the agent cannot progress with the rest of the workflow until 26th of march it's just for a reference and an agent can always complete it before the schedule as mentioned here you have to start the work and close it now schedule refresh is completed the next one is the deployment of the new asset to user space i'll quickly close that one too and then there is the last task which is reclaim agent asset and you have to set this field to yes reclaimed and start the work and close the task. One thing you might have noticed that I have executed the entire demo being an admin. The purpose here is to show you how the flow of refresh goes and actual the fulfillment of this subtask will be driven by the actual fulfiller as it will be mentioned in the assignment assigned to field. Now this flow is completed when you go back to the RITM into the detail you could see the stage has gone to complete same you should be able to see here in the service portal and going into the asset which has been replaced we could see assigned to has gone empty and it is right now in stock and substrate is pending so i just need to reopen it let's reopen both the assets Now you could see this 1563 asset, Apple MacBook, is in stock and is ready for disposal. At the same time, Assign2 has gone empty. Obviously, since we can't see the field because it's in stock. Opening the asset that has replaced 1563, it has, a state has changed to in use which was initially in stock and it has been assigned to Garfield. Thus, it concludes the entire asset refresh cycle. Thus, we have seen in this video how asset refresh can help an organization to identify the asset that are nearing retirement or nearing its effective working life cycle and at the same time how ServiceNow out of the box asset refresh workflow or flow can help an organization in refreshing or I should say replacing the old asset thereby making the hardware asset management more efficient. This concludes this video. I hope you guys have learned something new today. Thank you.